Loop Hero is a roguelike from developer Four Quarters with deck builder and management elements. Based on the concept of automatically moving through an empty world and rebuilding it with your cards makes it a unique and fun take on the genre. The Loop Hero adventure begins when the world is no more thanks to a lich. A single hero exists in an empty void without memories of how the world used to be. However, he has the power to recreate everything, now living in an ever-changing environment to explore and rebuild. The game is divided into two sections, exploration and camp. During expeditions, the players will navigate automatically through a predefined road. The shape of the path is random, but it's a track composed of wasteland tiles at first. As the hero moves, he'll face slimes and other enemies in automatic battles. By defeating them, he gets experience and spoils. Though leveling up takes a while, it brings special skills that can be vital during expeditions. The spoils will be needed to build up a strategy allowing the players to get both equipment and new cards. The weapons, shields, and other items are standard fare. Their level is based on current enemy force, which increases based on how many times the player loops through the road. Besides their main attributes, they may have extra abilities such as draining HP or speeding up attacks. On the other hand, cards are another aspect of what makes this game unique. With them, players alter the world around them, creating forests, mountains, villages, vampire mansions, and lighthouses. All of these impact the match in one way or another, giving birth to new monsters, making the player stronger, allowing more regeneration, you know the drill. Every new tile changes one step closer to the final boss of that area. Once the boss gauge is filled up, you'll have to fight a powerful enemy to advance to the next zone. Though there aren't too many of them, an understanding of the mechanics is needed for victory. Like every roguelike, players will have to start over after death, but there is some measure of progress using the camp system. For each card used and for specific combinations, the player is rewarded with materials that are important to improve the settlement in which the adventure begins. However, to maximize gains, players need to evaluate their survivability. Bad luck acquiring spoils will lead to bad builds, which likely won't be enough to stay alive long enough to reach the boss. As combat is automatically played out, when it gets tough to go on, a press of a button will send you home. If killed, only a small bit of materials will be kept. A more significant portion will return to the player if they opt to press the return button when they're already in the middle of a road. However, it's also possible to obtain everything accumulated during the run by playing it safe and returning to the starting point of the map. The risk and reward element is an essential aspect of the experience. Those materials are necessary for the player to build new facilities for the camp, which will in turn add new functionalities and strengthen the hero. The rewards for those include new cards, crafting and destroying objects, and even classes that fundamentally change how the areas are played. Using class strengths effectively and building more camp facilities go a long way and allow for some diversity despite the game's tendency for repetition. Taking in these elements adds multiple layer of strategy that the player is pushed to understand and play with. As the player controls the changes of the world, they can also define monsters that will appear to take measures to regulate difficulty. Certain enemies may be easier to deal with with a specific class, and putting two cards close to each other may lead to a unique effect. Loop Hero's biggest flaw is how some information isn't adequately conveyed. For instance, it'd be nice to know which kind of materials the cards provided when put on the field of a deck building menu. Also, level up enhancements aren't displayed on the character stats area during expeditions. Also, some traits can be a little confusing, like having the same trait twice instead of unifying them. Though it may seem small, information is a crucial aspect of the game focused on management. For that reason, it'd be nice to see the game updated to properly display such information to the player and make the experience a little smoother. Visually, Loop Hero is presented in a 16-bit art style that strikes a balance between detailed and straightforward. The soundtrack fits the mood, going for an atmospheric effect of the occult reminiscent of classic works such as Castlevania. The plot is lackluster but functional for its purpose, leaving the gameplay as the true centerpiece. It's also important to note that the game features some quality of life things such as fonts for people with dyslexia and a turbo option that doubles the speed of the expedition. However, gameplay never felt slow, making it a shame that it doesn't have a feature for 4x or 3x speeds. Loop Hero has all the right ingredients for an adventure management game with roguelike systems. There's a learning curve to tackle, but after a few learns, you'll be piecing together the world in no time. The entire experience is cathartic in a way as you watch the world evolve from your actions and overcome its obstacles with a little skill and luck. Unlike Devolver Digital's advertisement at the announcement of the game, it may not be game of the year material, but it's still worth giving a try. Noisy Pixel is giving Loop Hero an 8.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Please read the full review on NoisyPixel.net. NoisyPixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.